Greetings to you all. Welcome to class 10, unit 2, prose, the night the ghost gotten. Book back exercise part 2. Dear children, already we have done book back exercise, question answers and all. Now we are going to do from vocabulary. Page 35. Slang expression. So what is the meaning of slang expression? Slang is a type of language consisting of words and phrases that are regarded as very formal and more common in speech than writing. Slang naka abriye oro regions ko peso over words. Slang means while speaking something we'll do and writing it is different. The page work tela varadu. Page work la varadu. Okay? Alright. Adi romba informal. Normal institutions and the dangle use pandrath kariyad. Okay? Okay, now let us see section C. Look at the following expressions from the text. With the help of your teacher, rewrite them in standard English. So, if you have English or it means English, how you will make them standard? One has been done for you. First one, must have got away. What did he like? Suppose, short, that is two, three words, see this, like slang expression, we can tell. Okay, now when we write in correct English or correct Solomudu, must got away. What was he like? Alright. Okay, next one is looky here, Joe. So for that you can tell look you here, Joe. Okay, next one. No sign of nothing. So that is wrong. No sign of anything. That is right. Next one. Back to the lines. A Gudan. So the answer is, back to the lines, good man. Next one is, what was the ID of all the cops threatening around the house last night? And the answer is, what was the idea of all the cops towering and hooting around the house last night? Fine children. Okay, moving on to singular and plural forms. So singular, plural, you know, urumai, panmai. In this lesson, we find plural forms such as furniture, houses, windows, burglars, boxes, shelves, policemen. You may notice that the words have taken up different suffixes to form plurals. This is because English words have different origin. So we will do the exercise. Complete the given tabular column with the suitable plural forms. Chair. Chair uh, plural. We can tell chairs. Just add one S behind. Box. Boxes. So you have to use ES. Eskimo, Eskimos, add one yes. Lady, ladies, I E S. Radius, so U is Vandanaka, you should add. Remove the U S and add I. Radii, formula, formulae. Child, children, dear, dear. Manaka, Uruman, Naluman, Nariman, Aluman. Loaf, loaves. Hero, heroes. Actually, for the singular and plural, we have already uploaded another one video. How it changes, what are the rules and regulations, everything. Okay. So, that you can watch. It will give you more information. Moving on to section E. Listening part. Listen to the story and answer the following. Okay. Shall we listen? Here there is a short story. Three simple rules. This Short story, three simple rules is quite interesting to all the people. Enjoy reading this story. Once there was a rich man in Thailand. His name was Cholong. He was very rich man. Yet he wanted more riches, more money. One day he was walking in his garden. He saw a strange bird in a bush. It was very small, but it had very beautiful and colorful feathers. Its voice was also very sweet. Chao Long had never seen such a bird in his life. He slowly went near the bush unseen. He caught the bird. Now the bird began to speak. Why have you caught me? The bird asked. I want to make money. I can sell you for a big amount, replied Chao Long. But you are already rich. Why do you want more? Asked the bird. Because I want to become richer and richer. Replied Cholong. But 
Do not dream of making money through me, said the bird. It further added, you cannot sell me. Nobody will buy me because in imprisonment I lose my beauty and my sweet voice. Then it slowly turned into a black bird. The beautiful feathers were now looking like the feathers of a crow. Cholong hopes of making money were shattered. He said angrily, I will kill you and I will eat your meat. Eat me? I am so small. You will not get any meat out of me, replied the bird. Cholong could not answer. The bird then suggested, Well, set me free. In return, I shall teach you three simple but useful rules. What is the use of the rules? I want only money, said Cholong. He was irritated. But these rules can profit you, greatly added the bird. Profit me? Really? Then I shall set you free. But how can I trust you? You may fly away, said Cholong. I give you my word. And I always keep my word, said the bird. Cholong wanted to take a chance. He released the bird. It flew up at once. Then it sat on the branch of a tree. Its color started changing. It became beautiful again. Cholong asked, Now teach me the rules. Certainly, said the bird. Then it added, The first rule is never believe Everything others see. The second rule is never be sad about something you do not have. The third rule is never throw away what you have in your hand. You silly bird, shouted Cholo. And he added, these three rules are known to everyone. You have cheated me. But the bird said, Cholo, just sit down for a while. Think about all your actions of today. You had me in your hands, but you threw me away, released me. You believed all that I said and you are sad about not having me. The rules are simple, but you never followed them. Now, do you see the value of the rules? So saying, the bird flew. So saying, the bird flew away and disappeared from his sight. Fine children. So now you have listened to the story. Now let us do the exercise. The rich man was from Dash. So now tell me from which place was he from? Your options are Nagaland, Thailand, Finland. Answer is Thailand. Second one. Where did Cholong catch the bird? Cholong caught the bird in a bush in his garden. Third one, why did Cholong catch the bird? Cholong caught the bird because it was strange and small. He also believed that it would fetch him good money. What will happen to the bird in imprisonment? The bird in captivity will lose its sweet voice and beauty. Fifth one, what did the bird suggest Cholong in exchange for its freedom? The bird suggested an offer of three valuable principles in exchange of its freedom. Sixth one, does Cholong want to earn money honestly? No, he did not want to earn money honestly. Seventh one, what were Cholong's plans for the bird? Cholong wanted to sell the bird and earn a lot of money. Eighth one, who is wise according to you? According to me, the bird is wise. Is the bird a crow? No, the bird is not a crow. Tenth one, what are the three rules given by the bird? The three rules given by the bird are Never believe everything others say. Second one, never be sad about something you do not have. Third one, never throw away what you have in your hand. Fine children, now moving on to speaking section. F section quiz who am i let us play this game in class who am i is a guessing game where players use yes or no question to guess the identity of a famous person fine questions are based upon the traits and characters of 
person everyone will be able to identify actually this game we can play it in the class itself so what you should do first divide the class into groups one group should decide the personality while other group should ask yes or no type questions to win the game the team need to find out the person within 10 clues like yes or no question means i am you are was were have has had do does this like that okay sample questions to ask and answer must be yes or no only are you a male or female are you a famous personality are you a singer a dancer or actor are you a historical figure are you old or young are you alive now does your name start with dash is he or she like that fine children okay now you yourself can play in the class and enjoy it will be really interesting now moving on to g section use this passage to play the game you can collect information on other famous personalities and play too charlie chaplin was born on april 16 1889 in london england his birth name was charles spencer chaplin though he had many nicknames growing up such as charlie charlotte and the little tramp his father charles chaplin and his mother hannah chaplin were inducted into the music hall of fame leading the way to his exposure even as a young boy his first on stage moment was when he was 5 years old he sang a song that was intended to be sung by his own mother she had become ill at the time of the performance so little charlie chaplin stood instead and performed for his mother charlie chaplin came to the united states in 1910 at the age of 21 he was brought to new york which was known to be great place to start out for anyone trying to become a professional actor two years later in 1913 chaplin signed his very first contract at keystone and it was no time before he headed to hollywood his first movie premiered in 1914 making a living and went on to make over 35 movies total in that year alone charlie chaplin grew to become one of the most popular and successful actors of all time the moment that really kicked off his long career was in 1921 when he started in and produced the first full-length film called the kid from then on most people all over the world knew charlie chaplin and loved his movies he had a great career and life dying on december 25th 1977 in baby switzerland he had apparently died of natural causes in his sleep from old age fine children now another one reading section is there read the following incident carefully and answer the questions that follow so children what you do listen very keenly repeatedly listen then you can understand better the tie that does not bind oh so you are going abroad can you bring me back i have been asked to bring back a vaccine for a course once i searched the suburb of paris for two days and a special brand of ceramic paint having spent a lot of money for a cartier lighter refills i had then confiscated at the airport just before boarding because the gas might be dangerous in the air now two months before a trip i stopped talking to people so they won't suspect i i am about to travel but someone always catches me i have heard you're going to new york and i want you to get something for me it is just a little thing you can find anywhere i don't know exactly how much it costs but it shouldn't be much we will settle up when you get back what gilson asked me to buy was in a fact a little thing a tie but not just any tie he wants a tie with a small embroidered g any color would do as long as it had his initial look this is a special flight i explained we are only staying saturday though tuesday on the day we arrived i didn't have time to think about the tie 
but strolling around on sunday i did see ties bearing various letters in more than one shop window they were cheap just a dollar but all the shops were closed on monday lunch lasted the whole afternoon then it was tuesday morning time to leave it was only when i saw our airport bus waiting outside the hotel that i remembered the tie i told the group to go on i would get a taxi to the airport and so i went in search of a nearby shop where i had seen ties but i couldn't find it i walked further down the street one two three blocks all in vain back at the hotel a bit anxious now i took my suitcase got a taxi and asked the driver to rush to the street where i had seen them the driver stopped at each shop we passed so i could look from the window the stores had all sorts of ties but not the kind i was looking for when i finally thought i had located the right shop i decided to go in and check the driver refused to wait parking was prohibited he said i promised to double the fare jumped out and ran into the shop was i going to miss the plane just for a demand tie the salesman was unbearably slow when i realized that the smallest change i had was a 10 dollar note i grabbed 10 ties different colors so i wouldn't have to wait for change i rushed out with the ties in a paper bag on the street i looked around the taxi had vanished taking my suitcase what is more i was going to miss the plane i ran to the corner and hope flared up again the taxi was waiting in the next street quick to the airport as i settled down inside the taxi i sighed with relief gilson was going to have enough initialized ties to last him a lifetime when i reached the airport i paid the taxi driver the double fare and grabbed my suitcase panting i boarded the plane under the reproachful gaze of the other passengers all primly seated with their seat belts fastened ready to take off departure had been delayed because of me at least i hope you found your tie said one who knew the story i did i answered triumphantly after making myself comfortable i reached for the paper bag to show the ties i had left behind in the taxi oh my god poor thing no okay children so now let us do the exercise h section children read the incident again and answer the following questions what was the writer always asked to do whenever he planned to go abroad whenever the writer planned to go abroad the writer was asked to buy something or other by his friends second one what did gilson want the writer to bring for him gilson wanted the writer to bring him a tie with embroidered g on it third one when did the writer remember the fact that he had to buy something for mr gilson the writer remembered the fact that he had to buy something for gilson only on tuesday when it was time to leave fourth question why was the other passengers in the flight gazing at the writer the other passengers glared at the writer since the flight was delayed because of him fifth question what is the humor element in the above incident the writer had bought 10 ties with g embroidered in each one of them he had paid double the taxi fare to reach the flight but he left the ties inside the taxi and boarded the flight this is the humor element in the above incident purinjida ella tayu vaangiyaachu 10 tayu vaangiyaachu onnukku badila double fare kattiyaachu ivlo late aakiyaachu makkal ella ana enna pannitaanga tie la vaangite taxi ku le vechittu aeroplane vandachu okay ivlo pathetic condition fine children okay moving on to suggesting titles title summarizes the 
ஸ்டோரி ஒரு டைட்டில் பார்த்தோடனே இதுதான் இருக்கும்னு ஒரு ஒரு கன்க்ளூஷன் வரல அதுக்கு பேர் தான் டைட்டில் ஈச் பேராகிராஃப் இஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் அ ஸ்டோரி லுக் அட் த ஃபாலோயிங் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த பேராகிராஃப் தட் பெஸ்ட் சீவ் த எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ஓ நோ பட் இட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் செகண்ட் ஒன் டோன்ட் லெட் அவுட் யுவர் ட்ராவலிங் டீட்ஸ் தேர்ட் ஒன் எனிவே பீப்புள் வில் பி பீப்புள் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் சர்ச் பிகின்ஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் ஒன் திங்ஸ் ஆர் நாட் தேட் ஈஸி சிக்ஸ்த் ஒன் ஹரி இன்வைட்ஸ் வரி ஓகே சில்ட்ரன் ஓகே ஜே செக்ஷன் லுக் அட் த ஃபாலோயிங் சுச்சுவேஷன்ஸ் த ரைட்டர் ரோசன் ஹீ குட் ஹவ் அவாய்டட் த சுச்சுவேஷன் அண்ட் சேவ்ட் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் glance through the writer began and comment on what the writer should have done in the following situations okay so we'll read it and we'll understand first one gilson asked the writer to bring a tie so it means he should have politely refused stating that he was on a business trip modale sollirkalam appa ena kashtama irukuda business la poi irukken marandruvom like that second one on the day of arrival the writer had no time to think about the tie the writer should not have felt guilty for not buying a tie seri vaangla inime vittirukla adhe malasla potu kashtapadiruka vena but when the writer remembered about the tie when the bus was leaving for airport ipo kadisi nimishathil nyabagam varudhu okay he should have been conscious of the constraint of time and gone straight to the airport ipo time illa na ஏர்போர்ட் காச்சும் போயிருந்துருக்கலாம் அதுவும் இல்லை ஃபோர்த்து த ரைட்டர் வாக் டவுன் இன் சர்ச் ஆஃப் த ஷாப் சரி ஒரு ஒரு ஷாப்பாக தேடுறாங்களாமா த ரைட்டர் ஷுட் நாட் அவ் இன்வெஸ்டட் டைம் லுக்கிங் அவுட் ஃபார் ஷாப்ஸ் டு பை டை வென் த டைம் டு ரீச் ஏர்போர்ட் வாஸ் லிமிடெட் சரி ஏர்போர்ட்டுக்கு போக டைம் ஆயிடுச்சு இன்னும் ஏன் டைம் வேஸ்ட் பண்ணியிருக்கணும் ஃபிஃப்த் ஒன் த ரைட்டர் ரஷ்ட் அவுட் வித் த டை இன் அ பேப்பர் பேக் இப்போ இது இது என்ன தப்பு as soon as reaching the taxi the writer should have opened the suitcase and preserved the ties in it sari tie illa vaangiyaachu adhaadu oru tie ku badhila 10 tie vaangitaanga but now what he should have done ad appadiye paper bag la vekkama immediately suitcase thorndu ulle vechirukkenu la ad appadiye vekkave taxi la vittu vittaanga okay all right next one children k section state whether the following statements are true or false first one the narrator searched for 3 days to buy ceramic paint so that is false second one the author was going to new york that is true third one gilson asked the narrator to buy a tie so gilson tie vaanga solranga true fourth one the taxi driver took away the narrator's suitcase adu vaanga suit ku thookittu ponaangala taxi driver no that is false fifth one departure was delayed because of the author அதாவது ஃப்ளைட் கிளம்புறது லேட் ஆச்சு யாருக்காக நம்ம டை வாங்க போன ஆளுக்காக அது ஆத்தருக்காக இஸ் த ட்ரூ சிக்ஸ்த் ஒன் த ஆத்தர் லெஃப்ட் த டாய்ஸ் இன் த டாக்ஸி ஆத்தர் எங்கே விட்டுட்டாங்க டையா டாக்ஸிலே தட் இஸ் ட்ரூ ஃபைன் சில்ட்ரன் ஸோ ஓகே ஸோ ஐ ஹோப் பால் ஆஃப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டூட் இ கேன் லிசன் அகேன் ரீட் த புக் அகேன் வி வில் டூ ரைட்டிங் செக்ஷன் இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் எபிசோட் ஓகே தேங்க்யூ சில்ட்ரன் டோன்ட் மிஸ் டு வாட்ச் லெசன் எக்ஸ்பிளனேஷன் புக் பேக் எக்ஸசைஸ் அண்ட்